Hey there, friends. Katie here. And boy, oh boy, do I have an interesting and hopefully wonderful episode for you today here on the podcast. We have a wonderful episode for you today here on the podcast. These are my three awesome kiddos. Why don't you guys introduce yourself? Chase. I'm Chloe. And I'm Canyon. Today, we are going to be chatting about how these three really honestly feel about homeschool. And this entire episode is completely <laughs> off the cuff unscripted. In fact, I literally just pulled them in here to hit record. So they have no idea what exactly is coming their way question wise. And I actually did that on purpose because I just really wanted them to share from their heart how they truly feel about homeschool. So we started our homeschooling experience in the fall of 2022. And I want to preface this episode by saying that homeschool is very different than public school. Would you guys agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very different, just a whole different culture, a whole different atmosphere, a whole different learning environment. There are a million ways that homeschool is different than public school, but that is not actually what we're going to be focusing on today. We're strictly going to be honing in on their thoughts on homeschool and their homeschooling experience. So kiddos, I'm just going to ask a few questions, throw a few random things out there, and you guys can answer how you best see fit and whoever can answer, whoever wants to answer, and it's all good. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoever wants to answer this first question, what has been your favorite thing about homeschooling? Driver's ed. <laughs> Processing. <laughs> we, we, we took a couple months to do my driver's ed course when I turned 14. And the boys <laughs> got to um, ride in the car with me for hours upon hours upon hours of driving down our um, gravel roads and stuff like that. And we we would sing language arts songs in the car. It's so interesting that you mentioned that experience is one of your favorites because you started driver's ed right when we started homeschooling, like right off the bat, we jumped into homeschool, we jumped into driver's ed and yes, it was you three kids and me in the little white car that someone affectionately named Sandy, who named the car? I, don't remember. I think it was you. <laughs> I thought it was you. One of you kids named the car <laughs> Sandy, and we trekked all over the place doing driver's ed. That was a big part of our our first experience. Mm -hmm. How about you boys? What has been your favorite thing? Uh, probably just taking random breaks, like four wheeler rides, whenever we want to during the day. That was exactly mine. Br random breaks, yeah. There's the snacks. That too. <laughs> yeah, Nian, tell me about the snack breaks. Uh, well. <laughs> Basically, we just take a break and eat like 60 snacks <laughs> around that. So snacks is your favorite thing? Yes. Snack also, breaks. also the chickens. Yeah, That doesn't have a lot to do with homeschool, but just the, the chickens. Yeah. Tell everyone about the chicken experience, Chloe. Well, we got 15 thinking that half of them were going to die and we still have 15. Mm -hmm. um, like how many weeks has it been? 10 or 12 weeks? Something like that. Yeah. 13. But yeah, they're more like pets. Then they probably should be, but we, we had, love our chickens. We had been considering chicken keeping for a couple of years since we moved into our new house. And finally, I'm not sure what happened or who brought it up. I think it was Canyon that was finally just like, please, can we get chickens? And I actually had interviewed someone on the podcast several weeks or a couple months ago about keeping chickens. And so we decided to jump in one random day. <laughs> we went up to the farm store and picked up. A bunch of chickens thinking that, yeah, that some of them were going to die and pretty much all of them lived. And so we now have a large growing flock of chickens. What's your favorite thing about the chickens, Chase? Uh, We built a swing. So our dad built two chicken swings and then we went out there and Chloe wanted to have an actual swing. And so we built a swing. So we'll pick up the chickens and we'll swing with them. We call it the human chicken human swing. The chickens are really friendly. And so how do you guys feel like incorporating chicken keeping has been kind of enriching your learning experiences? Well, I got 15 new best friends. Does that count? Oh my gosh, Chloe. <laughs> like, what have you learned? I mean, you're, you're learning about the life cycle as you're watching them grow, right? From chicks to adult chickens. They're going to be laying eggs fairly soon. What else? Responsibility. Yeah. Making sure we keep the babies fed and we have we have some older ones and some that are still chicks. So we have to make sure that we keep their food and water and make sure that they're all inside the coop at night. I think responsibility is a big thing, 
right? Are you boys responsible when it comes to the chickens? Sort of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we took, we took, well, we have two ducks and we took them swimming uh, down at our pond and we caught them again. So, <laughs> you know what I feel like the common thread amongst all of this is what I'm hearing from you guys is the family time and creating moments and memories together as a family and just having the freedom and the time freedom to do that. Do you guys agree or disagree about that? I agree. I agree. You agree. So you love the time freedom and the <laughs> ability to kind of dive deeper into family relationships or build family relationships. Mm -hmm. Do you guys feel like you've grown closer as siblings and that we've grown closer as a family since we've been homeschooling? Yes. Oh yeah. Like in what ways? Um, how, how have those relationships have. grown? <laughs> well, we spend a lot more time together. We're yeah. forced to kind of be in close proximity for a lot of every day um of every day of every year basically okay so. it sounds a little bit harsh well I what? Mean, no I'm kidding <laughs> it's little brother sometimes it feels that way but it's okay. I'm kidding just we are we're together a lot more of the time right guys mm -hmm. yeah I would agree okay so since we're talking honesty and transparency here why don't you share with me without being too brutal what has been your least favorite thing about homeschool history <laughs> history history <laughs> that's just a subject that none of us really learned in uh, public school too much so I think it just it felt difficult history felt a little difficult because we had really no past with it that's funny history past it, um <laughs> well it's extra funny because if you ask me what what one of my favorite things is or was history. It would be studying history with you guys because I just have this kind of unquenchable thirst for persuading you guys to dress up like That's famous where people I was going. from the past and create these amazing <laughs> YouTube videos. No, that kind of my least my <laughs> least favorite thing about homeschool that we've done was at the time. Looking back now, it was honestly really funny. But she made us dress up and go to one of our <laughs> towns, like capital or courthouse. courthouse. Um, and she made us dress up and I like had a bonnet on and I was so, I was so mad that she made us sing this ridiculous rap song that she had written about American history. And so we were there and we were like waving flags around and I was like dancing around in my bonnet and I was pretty unhappy about that. But looking back, the video is awesome. Okay. Well, I feel like, yes, we love reflecting back on that video and the boys, I have to say, actually embrace their characters. Oh, they were good sport. I was just a little... We had George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Betsy Ross. And actually, yeah. the video turned out amazing, even though it was not your most favorite thing to do. It wasn't my most favorite thing to do, but I do really enjoy looking back on it. <laughs> How about you guys? Do you have anything least favorite about homeschool? Mm. Or do you just love it all? Language arts. <laughs> language arts. Language arts? I love language arts, though. You love language arts. Chase, you've come a long way, though, because our first year... Uh, I remember seeing there were some tears. There were a few tears when it came to grammar, and now you're like a grammar wizard. Thank you, IEW's Fix It Grammar. I will link that in the show notes. <laughs> we love that program. What is something new that you guys have learned since we started homeschooling, or something like surprising, or something that maybe that you didn't learn in public school that you're really glad that we've learned in homeschool? Anything um, history related? I mean, we. We did a little bit of stuff like social studies in public school, but I I personally did not know any of my American history. I mean, I I didn't know even when the Declaration of Independence was signed as and I was going to be an eighth grader. So I definitely think that's where I've grown the most. So maybe even though it hasn't been your most favorite thing, you've really appreciated learning it and having that just kind of tucked in your head and your heart yeah how about you guys language arts <laughs> same thing oh my gosh Chase maybe the thing that you don't love but you have an appreciation for it oh I actually love that I love hearing that how about you Canyon what's something new that you've learned since um, we've been homeschooling probably spelling spelling yeah definitely improved on your spelling what is one obstacle or challenge that you faced since we started homeschooling Language arts. <laughs> you can't just say the same thing four times in a row. Mine is procrastination. The first year, 
ouch mom yeah the yeah. first year we we did um our IEW curriculum for writing but I didn't do it with a teacher so I would you know it was just me and mom and I was supposed to get a paper done a week and I really didn't I really didn't like doing that <laughs> on time anyways um I did finish but it was like six weeks after I was supposed to finish that's a really good honest answer I mean that's just a an honest answer procrastination and you're working on that right I also did it with math that year. Yeah. I had to go almost until August to finish my math the first year. Yeah. Yeah. But this year I got it done on time. So, but I mean, I feel like you've improved in, like, I feel like you've worked to overcome that obstacle. Like, I feel like there's been so many places and ways that all four of us have grown. Oh my gosh. Patience. I'm thinking determination. I mean, so many skill sets, obviously just academics. Memorization. Um, memorization. We have done a lot with Bible that we never really we learned did. an entire chapter of the Bible, Colossians 3, right? Yeah. yeah. Chapter 3. 125. Yeah. 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 That's been, that was, that was incredible. And you guys have so much scripture tucked in your heart because that, that is at the core of our homeschool, right guys? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And so you've grown in your faith no doubt you've grown closer to the Lord and you have been in the Bible more, I think, than probably your entire lives combined prior to homeschool. And I think that we've all learned a lot and grown from that. Like I think of the fruits of the spirit and just different scriptures that in different situations where we pull those scriptures out and we kind of think on those. What is something that you've been really proud to accomplish since you guys have been homeschooling? I would say language arts, but no. <laughs> uh, probably learning an entire chapter of the Bible. Yeah. That's, that was pretty cool. Are we spelling again? Spelling. Oh, mine would either be something related to Bible or my writing. I think I've grown a lot in my writing. You know, I think of, again, relationships. I know there have been some shifts in friendships and relationships um, since you guys, since we transitioned from public school to homeschool, and you guys have handled that with so much grace. You have improved in skill sets. Like I think of public speaking, you guys were involved with the teen pact organization our first year and got to go. Chloe went and spent a week, I think in the boys, two days touring our state Capitol and meeting with our legislators and praying with them and uh, meeting our governor and learning so many things about government and civics and really just growing in your public speaking skills, you know, since you did have that experience, why don't you guys share, because you have learned so many cool new things you have learned and perfected, maybe not perfected. You're still growing in skill set, but worked to grow in skill set on so many new things. So boys, we just went to a competition for something new that you guys learned. And then Chloe, if you want to also share about some of the new skill sets that you have been working on. So boys, you go first. (laughs) <laughs> what'd I, you do i guess we uh we went to a competition for a rubik's cube yeah so you learned how to speed cube right mm-hmm. how to complete and solve a rubik's cube puzzle in a very very short amount of time yeah and so the logic and engineering and just what that requires of your brain it's been really interesting to see you guys st- dig in and study algorithms and practice and practice and practice for hours There's another cool thing that you guys learned how to do in our basement. (laughs) What was that? Oh, making fishing baits, making soft plastic fishing baits. Yes. And then Chase, you've also been working on um, making and editing videos. You launched a YouTube channel, Uh, sports. You guys are still very involved with sports. You've done so many cool things. Chloe, how about you? What new skills have you learned in the last couple of years? Well, I got a job at a cafe, so I'm definitely learning some people skills and service skills. And I also learned how to crochet. I'm going to reach around you because I want to show them this. (laughs) But this is just one of the things that I've made. I made this for mom for Mother's Day. It's crochet lavender. And I really had a lot of fun doing that. Most recently, you've been learning all kinds of things around homesteading, like you've been doing sourdough bread and gardening and and the chicken, the chicken keeping. I mean, you guys, I think when you stop and think about it, you have learned so many new things because you have the time freedom. 
you have the hours in your day. A lot of times we're done with school by noon, you know, by, by lunchtime. Mm -hmm. And then you guys have the afternoon to go fishing or to learn cool new things. Canyon, you have been doing biking tricks and building ramps and all sorts of cool things that you guys have the time to do. Sometimes I think we take that for granted. You know, the time freedom that we have, it's, it really is so good. Okay. So let's keep this episode short and sweet. And let's finish by asking you guys, what are you looking most forward to next school year or just in the years to come? Um, Everyone has to answer this question. Not having well, history. <laughs> you're not getting out of that one for a while. <laughs> uh, language arts is what I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> what are you looking forward to? Um, The family time. Aw. Heart melt, the family time, growing in relationships with each other. Mine's going to sound boring now. <laughs> Chase, what are you looking most um, forward to in the years to come? Probably, uh, yeah, just like family time and, you know, just learning new things together. mostly. Yeah, I can see you studying logic. I know you're going to study careers and skills and trades and all that type of thing next year. Chase is very into entrepreneurship and also like logic and engineering. So, uh, I think that you'll, I think you'll really enjoy studying those things. Chloe, how about you? Well, I am excited to start taking college classes. It's yeah. a little scary, but I am excited. That's a big thing. I, um, to grow in my faith some more and also to keep learning about things like self-sustainability and homesteading and things like that because that's something that I would like to do in my future I think one of the coolest things is that you that you guys are able to dig in and study the things that interest you so I know you studied um, like home economics this year and you were doing a lot of cooking and the logic you know for Chase and so if there's a topic that really really interests the kids Chloe did astronomy astronomy yep. uh, boys did national parks they studied the national parks and we had a lot of fun doing that so if there's a topic that they're really really interested in they're able to really customize, we're able to customize their education and help them dig into those topics that they're really excited about learning about. So I would say overall, it's so, so good. Are you guys just give me an honest answer? Are you glad that we are homeschooling? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no one even blinked. None of us want to go back. <laughs> I would never go back either. And in fact, I, like, I couldn't imagine sending you guys off on the bus, you guys being gone for eight or 10 hours a day at this point. I, when you're gone overnight, I really miss you guys. And so I feel like we've grown so much closer as a family and I am also so looking forward to the future. And you guys know, I'm always saying, I really believe that the best is always yet to come. Right guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. We're signing off for now. Everybody say bye. Bye. bye.